Hi, my name is Matt Benyon. I'm the Senior Content Marketing Manager here at Western Digital, and today we're going to take a look at uh, the MyCloud 4.0 application for iOS. Now, the MyCloud 4.0 app is the app that you're going to use with My Passport Wireless. So let's take a look now at my iPad, and I'll show you show you around. Okay, so now we've got uh, My Passport Wireless connected, and we're we're looking at the folder structure. And I can see if I tap on the My Stuff folder, uh, all of its subfolders are presented. And that'll keep going until I, I navigate all the way in until there's actual content. In this case, this folder has a lot of photos. And I can uh, press the Option button, which is the three dots. Uh, I can select a series of these photos. And uh, then it's across the bottom, I've got options for download, emails grayed out, but we can also do cut, copy, um, delete. And if we were only selecting a single file, we could also do rename. So there's a lot of neat stuff we can do by, by selecting individual files. Uh, but from here, I can, I can slide up and down through here. If I wanted to open one of these photos, simply tapping on that will, will open that for me in the main content window. Now, now the content is open, maybe I want to go full screen. So we've got a full screen button on the top. I can tap again to remove any of those, those menus. And uh, there's also an HD button. And the HD button will begin to download the highest definition version of that file to give you the greatest detail and pinch and zoom and, and do some of those options. Uh, likewise, we have the ability to either email that file, print it, or open this in another application. And from there, I can use any of these other applications to open and, and edit or share this content uh, with the world around me. Now, uh, we've just looked at the folder level view. If I also switch down to photos now across the bottom and tap on the photos button, this will look across the entire drive in every folder that it can find a photo and it will just put them in one big easy to find place. And this generates a lot of thumbnails very quickly. We actually gather 500 files at a time. Uh, and if you keep sliding down here, it'll, it'll continue to, to build thumbnails until you're at the end. Uh, likewise, I'm able to select on the photos. I can slide to navigate through from photo to photo, uh, and I can enjoy content that way. Now, if I hit the options button here, there's some options to sort by date, uh, by album, or just to view everything. If I switch now to video uh, and press the options button, uh, it'll be a little bit different, but you can see the, the context of our sorting changes based on the types of content. Uh, but here, well, likewise, I generate thumbnails for videos, and there's a lot of different different files here, uh, and it's very easy to navigate. If I wanted to, I can uh, download one of these files. I'll hit select, choose this, and tap download. This will actually make this file available for offline use later. If I go now to music, I don't have a lot of music files here, but once I navigate in, I know we've got uh, a wave file here that I'll play. And we have got some advanced playback options such as shuffle and repeat. Uh, but likewise, we've also got this tray and we've got a mini player in the tray. So I can be listening to music uh, and then I can leave the music section, go browse other content and the music continues to play. Now we've also integrated with the operating system. So if I simply lift that tray up, you'll notice there is a menu uh, to control the playback as well. And if I actually leave this app, it will continue to play in the background. So it's a very, very full functional music player. Now one thing that I did not mention is if I go back to photos um, and I go into the public view, I can upload and I'll add a photo. Now I have access to my camera roll and I'm able to go in here and select a photo or two and I'll upload that photo right to the folder here. And in this way, I'm able to take content right from my iPad and upload content right to my Passport Wireless. So that was an overview of the MyCloud 4.0 app for iOS and how it works with MyPassport Wireless. My name is Matt Benyon. Thanks for joining me.